Okay, today we're going to be talking about combining like terms with polynomials. In other words, simplifying polynomials. And uh, I have some examples here we're going to go through. And the first one is, says model the following expressions that combine like terms. What I have, I have an expression 4x minus 2x plus 3 minus 6. And so that's a mathematical expression. Below it, I've modeled it. I actually used a picture similar to algebra tiles. And so what I have here is, is here I have, it looks like this is like 4x minus 2x. Is there, remember from previous videos, if they're, if they're uh, white inside, that means it's minus. If it's colored inside, it means it's positive. Here I have uh, 3, positive 3, and I have beside it minus 6. So I've modeled the expression below by drawing shapes. Well, what happens is, in this case here, if I take my, if I take the two of the positives and two of the negatives, what will happen is these things will cancel each other out. It's like antimatter and, matter and antimatter. They hit each other, they cancel each other out. So one for one, they cancel each other out. Two negatives cancel out two of the positives. And what I have left here is I have just two x's left. What about the uh, actual uh, other, the just the 3 and the negative 6? Well, what happens here again, I have 3 positive 3, a 3 positive 3, and a negative 3 beside it, and I, those cancel each other out. Those 6 little squares cancel each other out, which leaves me with 3 left over, but it's a minus 3 left over. And there I have my answer. If I, if I uh, reduce that or combine them together, it simplifies to 2x minus 3 as my final answer. It's much reduced than the original question. Let's look at the next one and see how this thing can work again. So let me just take and we're just going to sketch, make a rough sketch of this stuff and see how we can go here. So 2x squared, so it's going to be like a square. It's going to be two, it's rough here. So it's positive, so it's colored in. There's one of them and there's another one. So there's two x squared. That's the first thing, 2x squared. Then I've got a minus x squared. Well, minus x squared is just the same thing, same basic shape, size, except it's not colored in. It's empty. The other ones are full of color, say. <laughs> okay, and then we've got plus 2x. I'm going to model the next thing. So plus 2x, it looks like 1, 2, and it's positive, so it's colored in. Color those in. Minus 3x is going to be three more of those things. X they are going to be empty. They're not filled in. And I've got a 4. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Little, and those are filled in because it's positive. So put some color in there to make it look at There you go. Okay. Now let's see what we can do with the. We start with x squared. We can only cancel x squareds out if there's plus and minus. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna change colors here and we're gonna keep going. So those, there's two there, a, a positive and a negative. They're gonna cancel each other out. Okay, and there's two here and two of those. So they're gonna cancel each other out. And there's nothing else I can cancel out. So what's left here? I have an x squared, positive x squared. I have a minus x, minus one x. And I have 4. So that's my expression. is going to be x squared. When I simplify this thing, I get x squared minus x plus 4. And that is the final simplified answer when I combine like terms. OK. So let's just look at some notes then below after that modeling to get a picture of what we're doing here. It says here in note A, when comparing terms, we use two expressions. We use like terms, which is the first part. And for terms to be like terms, I'm looking just at the, at the algebra itself, not looking at pictures, just at the terms themselves. Like terms have the same variables, same letters, and they have the same exponents. If there'd be like terms, they have to have the same letters with the same exponents. Examples would be 3 x squared and minus 2 x squared. 
The coefficient in front, the number in front, doesn't matter. It's just the variable and the exponent there. Those are like terms. Let's try another one here. Uh, how about if we did, um, say, 7 x y over 2 and we can have let's see what else we have let's just do negative 17 x y again those are like terms because they have the same letters and those letters have the same exponents there's one in each of those one x and one y in each of those things there so that's what we're talking about like terms unlike terms terms that are not like terms have different variables or exponents so examples of this let's see examples of this would be things like 3y 3x the coefficients are the same but that doesn't matter they have different variables or I could have another example I could use um, say negative 4 x squared and I could have negative I could have 2 x and the reason they're different is because one has a squared on it and the other one is just an x the numbers in front don't affect anything okay um, let's try one more here if I did uh, let's see let's do um, 4xy and we'll have uh, 6xyz. Well, those are unlike terms because one has a z and one does not. Even though the x's and y's are the same, they have to have all the variables the same and all the exponents in those variables the same. Okay, so hope that makes another sense. So that's really important and go, out, go ahead with the uh, with the next part of this lesson. So B, to simplify polynomials, we try to reduce the number of terms in the polynomials by adding or subtracting the like terms. So the key is the like terms, the ones with the same variables and exponents. And so that's what we did above with those pictures, just the things that were like terms, like shapes, in other words, we combine those. When combining like terms algebraically, you add or subtract the coefficients only the variables and exponents stay the same. So the first example, 5x plus 2x, what I do is I add the exponents. 5 plus 2 equals 7, so the answer is 7x. If it was a minus, I'd subtract the exponents. Keep going here. So here we're like terms. Do we have any like terms? Yes, we do. We have, we have this term and this term are like terms. This third one is not like those liquids. It doesn't have a square on it. Well, what's 3x squared plus 2x squared? That's equal to 5. 3 plus 2? So the answer is going to be 5x squared minus 4x. I cannot combine those two terms because they're not like terms. They have to have the same uh, letter and the same exponents. In other words, it would be a different shape above. And the, thing, the first part of the lesson here, it would be a different shape. The x's and the x squares. x squares would be big squares and the x's would be uh, thin and narrow strips. Okay, you can't add those together, they're not like. Okay, that's the same thing, same shape. Let's look at the next thing here, next example. And uh, if I look at the next example, look for, for like terms here. Let's start with the x squares. There's x squares there, and there's x squares there. So um, if I look at this thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to actually take, the, I can actually reorganize this and, and write it like that. Okay, and then I can take the next thing, look for the x's, there's x's there and there. So I can put down here plus 3x. I can just rearrange this thing as long as you keep the signs properly, they're in front of each term. And finally, I can do the last bit here, and those like term there and there. So minus 1, minus 4, and then we're just going to do it one step at a time. So this first thing here, 2x squared plus x squared, that's just that's a 1x squared, right? So it gives me 3x squared. 2 plus 1 more is 3. And then I'm going to do 3 minus 5. What's 3 minus 5? 3 minus 5 is negative 2. 
They're different signs. You add them or subtract them, you should say, and get 2. And it's minus is the bigger number, so it's minus 2. So this becomes minus 2x. And lastly, I'm going to put these ones together and I get minus 5. Minus 1 minus 4 more is minus 5. And there is our final answer to that question. We simplified it as much as we could and that's it. One more example quickly. We'll do this one. Um, well, let's look for like terms. There's a's there and there's a's there. So 4a minus 3a is just going to give me 1a or a. Okay? And then we're going to look for any other like terms here. There's a, b's and a, b's there. So plus 2a, b minus 5a, b gives me minus 3a, b's. Okay, we'll keep going here, looking for like terms. How about uh, x's? X's, any more x's? Yeah, there's x right there. So minus 4x and plus x. Minus 4 plus 1 more would be minus 3. 3x. And lastly, I have this 7 here, which... Uh, doesn't there's no other like terms so I put a plus so I just put a plus seven at the end that's a plus seven and there's my final answer I've reduced it to four terms one two three four five six seven terms down to four terms and that's all we're doing in this lesson is reducing it or simplifying each expression by adding or subtracting the like terms